This is a tutorial for how to add mods, add car sets, add tracks, and add sound packs to NR2003. I will be leaving links down in the description so you can skip ahead to each category if you are looking for a particular item. Please remember to listen to all my instructions carefully, and please bear in mind that this is a very old game. Not everything works for everybody, and there may be issues. If you want to leave questions down in the comments below, go ahead. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Maybe some of the veterans of NR2003 can help me with that. Before you get started, many files for NR2003 will come in compressed folders. You're going to need a program to unzip these folders so you can access the folders that are within. I use 7-Zip. It's a free, easy install that you can find online. I'll leave the link down in the description, of course. If you download this, you can use it to unzip the folders that you get for NR2003. Before you're able to mod your NR2003, you need to make sure that you're running the latest update. There is a patch 1.2.0.1. In addition, there's a fix to that update. Uh, both of these can be found on Wild Customs and Cars. Basically, if you downloaded this game online, it's likely that you're already patched up to the latest version. But if you're not, you just download it right here. Uh, you're just going to run the EXE and it'll ask you to target your NR2003 directory, I believe. It should patch your game up to the latest patch you need to be on. Once you do that, you will be able to change series within the game. Uh, once you install some mods without the patch, you will not be able to click on this arrow and change the series. So make sure that you do this before you install any mods in your NR2003. Now, if you're new to NR2003, you might not know exactly what people mean when they say a mod for the game. What that usually refers to is a new series you're adding to the game. If you go to your Papyrus NR2003 directory, you'll see a folder called Series in there. You're going to have the default cup mod by default. It's cup in all lowercase. If you go into the game, we have the NASCAR cup default series. It's the default cup mod when people refer to it. I've also added a few mods already in my game right here. Cup 90, for example, if I go to the right, I see Cup 90. That's another series, that's another mod. Same thing with CWS 2015. As you see right here, Craftsman Truck Series 2015. So when people refer to mods, they're referring to adding folders to the series folder. So now I'll show you how to download one. All right, so now that you've got the game patched, it's time to download a mod. I just went with the 2005 Splash and Go Nextel Cup mod here. I've already downloaded it, so we'll go into my Downloads folder. See we have the compressed file. So what we can do now is right click 7-zip, open archive. It's going to give you the folder itself. You can go inside. You'll see all this stuff that's in here. Uh, you want to make sure that when you download a mod, you do have some of this stuff in here. Some mods have a lot more stuff. Some mods have left. See in the Cars folder here, you'll see these all the cards that are in the mod dot cup dot car files what this means is that this is the car set for the mod it's already in the cars folder if you download something and you just see a car set like this it means that you've downloaded a car set it's very important to realize the distinction between a mod and just the car set for a mod we'll talk about car sets themselves later but make sure you don't just put a car set into your series folder and expect that to work as a mod so we'll back all the way back out here to the Splash and Go 2005 folder. Now we can just copy it to our series folder. So that's what we're going to do. Go in here, go to series quickly. Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003 season series. Mine's already in there, but you just press OK and it'll copy it into your series folder. And that's pretty much all you need to do to get started with installing a mod. Now you can restart your NR2003 and you should have the mod available. This is the Splash and Go 2005 NASCAR Nextel Cup mod. Now you do need to remember that there are a maximum of 16 mods in the series folder at one time. If you go over that limit, you're just not going to see any more in the, in the game. You'll just scroll and it won't be there. Also, I have heard that people do have issues if they delete their default cup mod. That's the cup lowercase mod right here. Um, I've never tried it myself, but better safe than sorry, I say, so I just always leave the default cup mod there, so I do not have any issues. All 
right, so now that you've downloaded a couple mods, let's get some car sets for those mods. Now, car sets are basically a group of paint schemes that somebody has created for a certain mod. Again, very important, you want to make sure you download the car set for the mod that it's intended to be used on. So you can't download a 2000 car set for the original cut mod and use it in the 2012 cut mod. It's just not going to work. So we're going to download a car set for the original cut mod. We'll do the 2000 car set, so uh, that'll take us to racing graphics. And the 2000 Cup Series car set here, which I've actually already downloaded. So I'll take you into my downloads here. We have car set Cup 2000. It's another compressed file. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and extract all. And we're going to go over here to our NR2003 directory. We'll go into series again. And this time, because it's a car set for the original cut mod, double click on the original cut mod. And we'll put it in the cars folder. That's all you need to do. And then you extract. Now it's something very interesting to note here. Many car sets are gonna come with an LST file. In this case, the 2000 car set, it's named 2000. What this is, is when you go into the opponent manager in the game, it actually is one of the rosters that actually will have the 2000 car set selected for you. So you wanna make sure that you have the LST file in the car set. If the file is not there, you'll have to create a new roster with the cars that you want. When you click new here, it'll create a new LST file in the car set. The last important thing you need to know about car sets is you need to make sure the car set is the right physics for the mod that you're using. What I mean by that is that you need to use .cup cars for cup series mods. You need to use .cts cars for CTS physics mods. So right here we have two mods. One's the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series 2019 on cup physics. And one is the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series 2019 on CTS physics. If you go into the cup physics one, you'll see in the cars folder, all the cars have this dot cup extension. Go out to the series and into the CTS one, all the cars have the dot CTS extension. So if I download a car set for this mod, I need to make sure it's for the right physics type. There is a converter out there if you want to try and convert between uh, different physics types, but for the most part, you need to make sure that the car set you download is for the correct mod, and it uses the correct physics type for the mod that you downloaded. So now let's talk about downloading tracks for NR2003. Many modded tracks use what's called the revamped reloaded shared folder. Uh, this is just a folder that has a lot of assets that are used when modded tracks are created. Just download this from Wild Custom Cars and you're going to put it straight into your tracks folder. Show you it right here. It's Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003 season, tracks. You'll see the shared folder there. This is the shared folder I use always when running modded tracks and I rarely have issues with them. Well, let's download a track. Uh, I'll go for Boston here on the speedways. Downloaded it. It appears in my downloads. Do what you always do, just right click on it, go ahead and extract all, and you're going to want to put that in your uh, NR2003 tracks folder, the same place that you put the shared folder. Go ahead and extract it. We'll take a look over here, and now we have Boston. You want to make sure you have uncompressed folders in here, so you can't just download and drag the folder into your tracks. You need to make sure that you extract the entire folder, and so it looks like this in your tracks folder. And it's as simple as that. Now we have Boston selectable here. Go ahead and uh, show it off for a minute as we'll continue into the game. And there you go. That's all you need to do to download a track for NR2003. Let's talk about how you put a sound pack in NR2003. If you go to your NR2003 directory, you'll see a folder named sound. This is very important do not delete this sound dat file or this spcc file. If you delete this sound file, the game will not work. So you have to make sure you always have this in the sound folder. The spcc is your spotter and crew chief. If you want to change that, you can do so, but do not delete it otherwise. Otherwise you will have no spotter or crew chief. If you delete this sound dat file, the game will not launch. So now that we have gotten that scariness out of the way, Let's go ahead and take a look at a sound pack that I downloaded here. This is Petty V8 2.5. Literally all you need to do, 
is copy or extract the files into your sound folder. Just paste them right in and that's all you need to do. Now many sound files are going to come with a readme that you definitely want to take a look at. Some of them only work with certain settings in the game. So yeah, just make sure that you're taking a look at the readme for every download you do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just an introduction to how to mod NR2003, add car sets, add tracks, and add sound packs. If this video did help you out in any way, I'm glad to hear it. Love to support the NR2003 community. If you'd like, you can go ahead and leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Go ahead and leave a comment. Definitely, if there are any NR2003 vets here, let me know if I forgot anything. If you do need some assistance, you can leave a comment down below. We'll do the best that we can to help you out. Again, like I said, NR2003 is a very old game. There are some issues with it. Not everything works perfectly for everyone. So I'll see you guys in the next race.